Welcome back and in this tutorial we will learn how you can send notification from one device to another device. So we will be creating this app as you can see here. You will write a notification title, you will write a notification body and when you click send, this will send a notification to a device whose token we will have hard coded in the app right now. But in your actual app you need the logic to send it to a device. So you need to get the token of that device according to your business logic or whatever it is. Uh, and it's highly unlikely that you will be typing the token here so that's why there is no field for token here so you just there's just a title and a body and when you click send it will send notification to that device okay so let's get started now first of all to send notifications you need to have the token of the another device so in the FCM network all the devices are recognized by a token and each device has its own unique token so if you don't know we have already done this in comprehensive detail in another tutorial so link might be somewhere around the top or uh, and I also have the link in the description and in the comments so you can check that and you can see how you can add Firebase and how you can get this token so this is just a sample code that I have written here and this is how you can get the token and once you have the token you can save it in your server or you can do another required task with it but this is not of uh, in our topic right now so uh, this is just a precursor prerequisite because we need to have a to token to which we will send the notification so if you want to learn how to get the token and all that stuff check out the video in the card here in the top right or in the description or in the comment okay now coming back to sending notification to a single device so I've already created this layout here it's pretty simple it's nothing it's just two edit texts here these two and there's one button using which we will send the notification so clicking on this button will send the notification to the required device now what is the required de device it might be different according to your different business logics but for uh, the sake of this tutorial we'll just have a token hard coded and we will send the notification to that token to that device okay so create an activity I've just called it activity I've messed up the spelling here <laughs> call it activity notif notif sender and I've just set the content to this layout now let's get the edit text here title and body and let's get our button ready to okay now let's set the references references a good practice is just create a function to set the references create uh, and add all your references here because if you add if you have like 10 or 20 10 or 15 of these things here and uh, you add everything in this on create it becomes kind of messy but you need to have a code clean code so uh, set all your references in this function let's say et equals to ID and et body the same thing here this needs to be the ID of the view here so ID here is ET title and ET body so use these two not linked to these names or these variables and send notification and send okay now what do we need to do is when we click on this button we need to send the notification to another device right so we go set on click listener you go on click listener and let's say send notification and what we need to do is in the send notification the title will be whatever is written here right so this will accept two variables that is et title dot get text of two string and similarly it will contain the notification body Okay, now let's create the send notification function so if you have this, this function is not created click alt enter and you'll get the option to do these things and click on create method send notification now we have a method ready and uh, this is two string and this is what is this this is body all right now let's get to the main meat of the code so this is what you want to do
First of all, we will need a token here. This is going to be token of receiver device. All right, we will replace this with the token to which we want to token of the device to which we want to send the notification. Okay, now what else do we need? Yeah. Okay. For the sake of this tutorial, you can use you you can send this using Wally or Retrofit or whatever. But if I use Retrofit, I'll have to create a lot of different uh, helper classes and stuff. So I have just used OK HTTP. So if you don't if you want to use uh, OK HTTP, you can just implement this. All right. This will also be in the description below. Okay. Now one thing is. To send the notification, it's very simple. We just call the API of FCM or Firebase. We call the official API. So what we do is, so this is the API. So we call this API and this is what we will be sending. We will be sending to this and notification this, body and title. Now you can send data. If you want to send additional data to the user, you can uh, send it to something like send it using something like this. So there's another key data and inside this, you can set whatever you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will only send notification and to not the data. Okay, and as you can see here, the body is JSON type, right? So this is what we'll do. Now you know what to do. You need to call this API and send this data. And this notification, this notification will be sent to this device. Okay, so let's do this using OK HTTP. So first of all, I will create an OK HTTP client. And then again, we will set the media type to application JSON as we have seen here, seen there. Now we need to create this JSON. All right. As you can see here, this is one JSON, two, and inside notification we have another JSON. So let's first create not the notification. And this will contain the two part. And this is the token here. And this contains the body and it will be the body that we want to send as the notification body as you can see here there's an as you can see here there's an error here this uh, this is because there might be some exception so to resolve this again hit alt enter together and it will give you an option around with try catch uh, instead of putting just one thing in the try catch put another thing also and in the catch thing instead of throwing the error we will log it so we can know what happened. Okay, so now we have the two and body of the JSON object. That is, we have this part ready. Now we need two and notification. So that is another JSON thing. So it's another JSON object. And let's say whole OBJ. And now in the whole object, we have a string, sorry, this is not two, this is title and body. So this is title is already there, this is title. And in the outer this object, we have two, that is a token, and then we have what do we have? We have notification, right? And this notification is JSON notif that we just created. Okay. So now we are, now our notification object is ready. Now we just need to send this to the Firebase API. Okay, so create a request body.
the media type is what we had just created and what we send is the whole object dot to string okay so this is our request body and now we need a we need an actual request and we need the url of fcm here and then we need this is a post request so we need to use post and we'll be posting the body that is not body our body and we will need to add header it is uh, as you can see here okay in this header we have content type and authorization right so this key is what we need to send as the header so in authorization header you need to add a key with your server key right and we add another header that sets content type and as you know content type is application slash json and then we do build so our request body is already ready that is this whole notification thing and our request is also ready with headers and body and everything required now we just need to call the api so to call to do that we just do client dot do call and then we send our request body here request here and then we execute it and we are good and this also we need to add in a try catch so that if there's an error we can know what the error is let's log the error in case the error comes and we are done so whenever the user clicks on this button this function will be called and in this function we are uh, creating the notification JSON body and then we are using OKHTTP to call the API of Firebase where we have the server key and content type. Now, how you can get the server key, where you can get the server key and how you get this. Again, I'll have a link to those videos in the description. Check that out and if you have any problem, let me know in the comment section below.